Welcome back to the Guild of Dungeoneering Dungeoneers. So there we were enjoying a brandy after dinner when all of a sudden Lady Lidwick burst into... Burst into what? Jeez, man. Let's read the epitaph for... Retha? I'm remarkable every way. Garf didn't get out much. He didn't. He went on the one... Well, he went on two dungeon runs. He got five kills. Earned a lot of gold. How does Lily do? How humiliating dying to a scary spider. Ooh. She died that way? That was sad. Oh yeah, didn't I pick her wrongly? Whatever. Alright, Dungeoneers. We're gonna see what the apprentice can do. Go exploring. Now, which one of these had a lot of magic? Defeat a minotaur. Minotaurs are physical. Outrun a mimic. Uh, hmm. Ambrose treasure. If I had a better memory, I could remember what was in here. There was fire. There was fire in here. Alright. Stay in hand. The apprentice is magic. It's not going to do physical da damage. So let's start with Trickster's favor. Hmm. I keep clicking uh, that wrong. Trickster's favor. Hacked the apprentice. Ghost, that's magic. Zombie is physical. Fire is kind of magic. So yeah, that might be a good choice. And the spider is magic too. No starting... Hmm. Let's see what we get. More scary spiders, simply dreadful. Magic. Block the magic so you don't heal and do some magic damage. Physical damage. Well, we can't stop that. Block some magic damage so it doesn't heal and do some magic damage. Well, I mean, nothing. I guess that quick will uh, let us end it. Ooh, they have to draw two cards. All right. So, we're gonna be fighting the ghost. Quick magic, eh. We don't want stupidity. Fighting a ghost, that's not gonna do anything to us. So really, this is the only thing beneficial against the ghost. Money? No money. Okay. Doesn't change directions, that's good. Large chaps, simply vulgar. Okay. If we were the bruiser, we could block that. Alright, well, stalemate. Oh, really? Well, let's go with expanding our hand by two. And we'll have five now? That's nice. Okay. Really? Uh, block that. They're, they got an early lead. Oh, and this thing has Tinashe's. Well, that does nothing. Oh, that's so painful. All right. Okay, we need some block. We need some block. Oh wait, we have the quick two? Oh wait, you healed. Oh, thank goodness. Oh wait, tenacious, we, tenacious, tenacious. Hey, all those quicks. Oh my gosh, skin of our teeth. Again, all right, so. Yes! I didn't even see that block magic. Okay, so we're fighting a zombie. So we kind of want all the blocking physical. Yeah. 
<laughs> and we got that again. Mage robes, fire three. I thought it was fire two. We had that on a previous episode. Plus we got the block and drawing cards. I like it. That's a big upgrade. We want the money. We're level three. That's not a dead end. Decay. Causing two or more damage. Fury. Yeah. That. And we'll put this down here. Add uh, magic words, as I always say. <laughs> You're not gonna make me say that. That's a lot of health. Okay, so hit us and damage. Let's go with the early expanding of our hand. Decay, ooh, ow. Okay, it's successful, but it's not going to be successful. It's gonna block it anyway, so we might as well just go for the block and the heal. I didn't think the zombie would have so much magic. Okay. Um. Still. Go with a bigger hand? I mean, we don't have any heal, do we? Yeah, now we get this. Block that, and save him from healing. Okay, now we get the fire per round. There we go. Oh, there, okay, good choice. Talented set of fire one, okay. Do we have block magic? We need block magic. All right, you have two health left, so I mean, we do with a quick, and he doesn't even get a chance to hit us. Okay, we need a primary. That's probably an upgrade. No, we lose that and gain nothing. That's insulting. We lose a lot, so I mean, really, not only is this our only choice, but we have blocking magic now, which we needed against that last zombie, and it's an empty slot. Win-win all around. All right, now we're gonna stop there anyway. More money, because we're greedy. More practice zombies. And I don't really wanna... Let's just build this up and around. More specie, perhaps we can renovate that worn old guild with this. We're not putting a zombie in the guild, gross. Okay. Two damage to us, that's painful, but we can block it all. And it hurts itself, so that's good. One magic, let's go with the two cards, it's an easy trade-off. I like the apprentice, it gets a big hand once it's up. All right, block the magic so it doesn't heal and damage it. And it has decay so it loses one turn every round. Incoming magic damage that we can't block. It's going to be doing physical damage. Two, three, two. We have four. We do two damage. It'll have five versus our four. We can accept that. Oh, plus a decay. Four, four. Yes, that's a good trade off. Ooh, 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 wait. It's gonna block physical. We can block magic. Yeah, let's get the head, because uh, that'll be two damage with the decay. And we don't take any. Okay, so it hurts itself one. So we do two damage. It hurts itself one. We can't even block physical anyway. No way to heal. Let's pick the two damage just in case I'm wrong. There we go. It did three damage on the hit. I wonder why. All right. We lose all the physical block. I don't want to do that. But Firestorm, it's huge. It's huge damage. And it's unblockable. 
But we lose so much physical block. But the zombie didn't have that much. Hmm. I don't want to lose around that per round, and we lose that firestorm. Let's try it. Did we lose brace? Did we have brace? I'm not sure. Fountain. Let's try. Another zombie. Hey, that's a good one. Massive gem. It okay, has decay. We're talented. Alright, so it's gonna hurt itself. We can't do anything. Save that. Blocking magic for whatever it might have. Uh, we use zap, and the quick will hopefully come roundabout again. Now we want to block some of that magic damage. Do we want to block some of that magic damage? Now we'll expand your hand. We'll let it heal. The decay will take out that again. Okay. It's going to block physical damage, so interrupt is useless to us. No, yeah. Interrupt's useless to us. Let's do some flame leash lash. Okay, 3-3 three, three, and it has decay. Now we want to interrupt, block that uh, acruic fog. There we go. Alright, now it's going to heal if we don't block that. We can't, so we have an unblockable firestorm. We don't have quick. It attacks first. Power card? Four damage, I guess. Haha! -ha. All right, what do we got? Skullcap, but we lose Firestorm. We don't want that. Uh, gold. We don't want to lose Firestorm. Let's just sell the two gold. Lots of money. This is a good money run. Massive gem. Gold pouch, because we're greedy. We're level three. That fire is level three. Good grief, who leaves large chests sitting in the ground? Let's start off with like, increasing our hand. I mean, we can take one damage, it has decay. Let's get the Firestorm for the big damage early on. It hurts itself and gets decay. That's three damage right there, that's awesome. Okay, that's not uh, ignite's gonna be not gonna be successful. Um, let's block the acruic fog, so it lessens the damage. Okay, hurts itself. Quick attack. Okay, what do we have? We lose Smite, but that means we keep our Firestorm? Oh my gosh, seriously? Yes! So awesome! Ha! <laughs> we don't want to lose Firestorm. Just straight up lose Smite. And I get some gold. So much money. Alright, so you're going that way. We're setting it up for a hard turn. All right. Money. I don't know what we're doing here. All right. We're getting all this money just laying about. Burn. All right. One each. A little bit of fire damage. Early firestorm? Early firestorm for the massive damage. Haha! <laughs> okay, two damage. Block one. That's like a two turn win? Yeah! And there's our level up. 
<gasps> Ooh, that shield. We lose nothing and gain the health. Lose quite a bit. Lose Firestorm? No. Extra health is extra health. And we got the positive uh, predictable next fight. We will get... Hmm, that's a physical... We can't get there. I think I'm just going to let him wander this time around. Just get the money. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we need the dungeon cards. Let's give us the extra option going around. Oh, we could make it there. But then he'd go for it. We'd lose that money. The Bandino is loner. So we go from seven hearts to six. Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, you're supposed to lose that part. That's painful. That's not fair, you're in a dead end. Dead end cards, I guess, count only as the blocked off ones. That's so not fair. There, let's go with quick attack. All right, we're doing heavy damage now. What do we got? We gain a health, we lose a smite. <sighs> Nothing? Hmm. I think the extra health in the long run will help us. Alright, let's see. You're gonna loop around for that. Yeah, see, he's going for that. So let's go for the fire element who's going to stop there anyway. And we end our turn. Magic words indeed! Man, one episode for one dungeon. This is intense. Or I'm just biding my time. Ooh! Alright, we start off with the early extra damage per round. Does he burn fire? Achievement, fire, fight fire with fire. Okay, so let's go with the increase in our card hands. I mean, he's doing a lot of damage to us early off. A lot of damage to us early off. Hey, right, double damaging. Can't block it. Now we'll kill him with a quick attack. Okay, I'm liking the apprentice. Already have. We lose Firestorm. No. Uh, three f unblockable, four unblockable. No, because block and gain a health is really good. That's a lot of healing, but no. Take it for the gold. We're gonna stop there anyway. Uh, all right, we already used up our predictable. Owl bears are physical. I don't want to do it. Can we put the money there? Nope. All right, we'll end it off finally. Magic words, as I always say. Yes, you do always say magic words. All right, what do we start off with? Unblockable. Unblockable too, ouch. All right, then we might as well start off with expanding our card hand. I haven't seen that card in a while. All right, so we each have one on. Okay, unblockable one. So we might as well go with the extra damage on him per round. Yep, okay. No kill like an overkill. Do we get an achievement for overkill? No. All right. We do. Oh, no, wait. 10 win streak. Uh, how about that? Uh, take the gold. All right. Big money, big money. Three cheers for your lucrative plundering. After all your aimless blundering, how you rode your luck without getting stuck. 
left me and your enemies wondering. Okay, so we got big money there on the monster kills. He got Fountain Attic, which we've seen before, attracted to fountains. Uh, attracted to fountains first. Tile card each turn. Alright, so if he can run to a fountain, I guess that means he'll go for it. That sucks. Okay, you think... Oh, and we have a Bruiser back. Um, I've seen him on some other Let's Players. He worked out fine for them. Alright, so... 300. I'm so greedy and I'm saving up for this so much. Next episode, we're going to try and bring our apprentice after the Mimic. Or rather, have the Mimic come after our apprentice. So, you know... Let's hope for the best, Dungeoneers. Keep your fighting spirit up. And I'm Logtastic. Hopefully you'll enjoy this episode and the next.